This is the third video in a series of three we've been doing about how a suit jacket should fit. Um, in the whole series, um, Charlie here from Henry Poole has very kindly offered to be our guinea pig, and we are showing these aspects of fit on his Henry Poole bespoke suit cut in spring ram cloth from Harrison's. In this third iteration, uh, we're going to be looking at how much the aspects of fit of a jacket is not necessarily just about right and wrong, but also about a question of personal preference and comfort and how you like a jacket to feel. First off, if you look at Charlie's suit from the front, and let's look at the chest, for example. Now, in the first video, we said that the chest should be quite clean, there shouldn't be any obvious pulling or wrinkles going on. That's great. But also, it can be a little bit a matter of personal preference, because some people like their chest to be cut very kind of close to the body. Some people want a little bit more space and drape in the chest here. And that drape is also a matter of comfort and practicality. I like more drape in the chest of my suits, for example, because it makes it easier to move um, in your jacket. I find it's only when a jacket has a high armhole and a decent amount of drape that I can sit at a desk and work in that jacket all day long, for example. And then if we look at the waist of the jacket here, you can see on Charlie's suit how we have a nice clean line from the shoulder down through the chest and suppression in through the waist here, which makes it really kind of flattering, the contrast between the wide shoulder and the narrow waist. But actually, in the suit, there's quite a lot of room here. There's quite a lot of comfort here. There's quite a lot of room for Charlie to move. And a lot of people would have the waist cut as close as they possibly could to their body, while still not obviously wrinkling and pulling, because that feel, they feel that would be more flattering. But actually, the three-dimensional way that a bespoke suit is made means that you can have that extra space maybe in the back, for example, um, and still have a lovely clean line through the waist without it being like super tight. Last of all, if we look at the back of uh, Charlie's suit, we said in the first video how you want the top of the suit to be kind of fairly clean, but there's always going to be a little bit of drape and excess material here below the shoulder blades, because if there wasn't, there'd be no way to even raise your arms at all. However, how much you have there is also a question of comfort and personal preference a little bit. Some people have suits which are meant to be very formal and very straight and are made for big occasions for the board meeting or for something very important and they want it to look very clean and very sharp. For others it's a lot more practical so in the same way that I like drape at the front I also like a little bit of drape in the back because it allows me to be more comfortable during the day and again move around, sit at a desk and work. So it is a bit of a question of personal preference. And I'd say with all these things, the key is just to be aware of all the advice, all the advantages and disadvantages of different decisions, and then make up your own mind. For more practical information and reviews of artisans, check out permanentstyle.com, the UK's leading website on craft and classic style.